spring of 59 after Bill Shotanis had left uh, maybe in June of 58 um, Collier Harvey was called to be our next minister and um, he and his wife Betty Ann had four daughters and um, uh, this also points out that there were four DCEs during his time at Waverly Road. Sally Bacon, Peggy Click, Barbara Sims, and Harriet Hutchison. And um, so for a long time, Waverly Road did have a DCE, right? Mm, I think that's the last one. Harriet Hutchison. Oh, okay. And then, in 1965, you became the first woman to be an elder at Waverly Road. That was the first year you could have that the church had uh, recognized that women could be women elders. As elders. And I remember, Kanye Harvey was the minister, and he told me that they wanted to nominate me and he said now I do hope you'll accept he said uh, we talked about it and uh, the women in our church who might be an elder and we decided you were the only one that wouldn't be afraid to talk up to the <laughs> ministers <laughs> to the men on the session yeah <laughs> Oh, that's that's very true. <laughs> when you first went on the session, did you have any fear and trepidation, or were you nervous about doing that at all? I wouldn't think so. No, because, well, the reason um, is that I had served on uh, presbytery committees with ministers. Mm -hmm. So I was not intimidated by mm -hmm. them. So. Did you, uh, as an early woman pioneer, uh, doing things where uh, a lot of other denominations still don't allow those things? Um, did you ever uh, run into any resistance or anything like that? From not that I don't remember. If if they resisted, they didn't have the nerve to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you know, um, before the denomination uh, decided that. Uh, uh, before the denomination allowed uh, women elders or women ministers, uh, the denomination had a very strong program of uh, women's work. And at that time, the women made more emphasis um, on special uh, ministries of the denomination, um, were missionaries and all of that, then the, uh, then the session did. The session was not so much a program made of a program elders in charge of special programs. It was mainly just a, a administration. administration. And now, the uh, elders are usually chairman of uh, 
committees, important committees in the church, like worm missions and uh, various of the mission programs. So that's kind of a change. Well, over the years, over the 75 years, the I, just in my memory, the function and structure of the session has has just gone through numerous, numerous changes. Yeah. Well, in for example, in our memory, we've gone from a bicameral system with elders and deacons to having it all under one roof and so that's added the the financial part and the building care part to the session um, in addition to all, all the, the other programs yeah all all the programs of the church recently uh, I had a visit from and Lyle Nichols, mm -hmm. and uh, I was reminding her uh, that uh, when Kanya Harvey was pastor, we didn't have air conditioning mm -hmm. in the church, and so the sanctuary windows were up in the summertime. Uh, in the summertime, and uh, Bob and J.C. and Bill Rankin and several of the boys in high school uh, acted as ushers. And uh, Kanye would be uh, standing at what is the lectern side with a good view out the window. <laughs> and at that time, there was a little restaurant called Peggy Ann's Restaurant, where uh, Max is now. and. Uh, so she uh, reminded me, I was telling her that her little brother, Paul Lyle, used to love to sit at the end of a pew and try to stick his leg out far enough <laughs> to trip those boys when they were taking up the offering. And, and his sister reminded me recently, yes, but uh, there also the boys of uh, Bob's age who were taking up the offering, as soon as they got up, everybody ushered into the church. Then they would go over to Peggy Ann, and uh, they knew just how to time it to get back to the next. <laughs> time that they were supposed to be taking up the offering. And uh, Kalia Harvey was standing uh, at the lectern side and s had a straight view out the window, open window, of those guys uh, coming back from Peggy Ann. <laughs> mm -hmm. And one time, they were always playing tricks on Kanye. They set a, a alarm clock oh, in God. the pulpit <laughs> that was set to go off at uh, maybe 12, I mean 11.30 instead of <laughs> the <laughs> end of the service. Oh, there were a lot of those, that particular group of young people was a big group in the church and very active. Oh, yes. In those days, uh, we were busting at the seams again, and Sunday school classes were held in the laundry and barber shop across the, in the parking lot across from the church. So that was that was an interesting time, and that year, uh, which would have been about 1960, there were 30 weddings in one year in Ooh. the church, which is hard to believe. That's important to 
statistic. Oh, here's another year when they're, um, we're up to like 1965. There were 151 baptisms that year. And this would have been, um, well, it was mid-60s anyway, when the education building was built. Mm -hmm. um, and it says the barbershop and laundry were desanctified. 